In this video, we are going to talk about applying KNN on a Kaggle dataset. We are going to use the same mobile phones dataset that we used in the previous video, which dealt with logistic regression. So most of the code remains the same. Let's run the cells in order. We're not going to run the data analysis here because we don't really need it. We need the pipeline setup. And here for classification, we imported kneighbors classifier from sklearn.neighbors. And we added some classifiers for different settings of the number of neighbors to look at. Starting with tree, and going up to 200. And let's see why we did that. So we also let in the logistic regression one for reference, which gave about 90% accuracy. And, and the K nearest neighbors gives varying levels of accuracy depending on the and neighbors parameter. We can see that with 200 neighbors to look at, we get 55% accuracy. And this decreases as we decrease the number of neighbors to look at. So it doesn't behave very well here. And let's take a look about why that, and let's discuss a bit about why that might be. And let's also discuss its hyperparameters such as the metric hyperparameter, which is set to Minkowski. And this P equals two here. Well, basically this uses the Euclidean distance to compute the nearest neighbors. A, Min a Minkowski metric with, with P equals two basically reduces to the Euclidean distance. So you can think of uh, the Minkowski distance as a generalization of the Euclidean distance. And it becomes the Euclidean distance if you set P equals to two. So we didn't touch those. So why is the algorithm be behaving so, uh, so badly? Well, one possible reason for this might be because remember in the introductory video, we said that it doesn't really learn anything. It simply looks at the closest neighbors. And because that's not always useful, not for all problems, it might not make sense for some problems, and this one might be one of those, it makes sense that the accuracy would be lower or a lot lower than an algorithm that actually learns something. Another reason might be that it's affected by this min-max scalar here. Because this reduces the, the values of the features, it might affect the distance computations done by k nearest neighbors. So let's disable it and see if that's the case here. Well, look at that. So logistic regression drops in accuracy significantly. We already knew that from the previous video. And K nearest neighbors goes up. You can see here, even with just three neighbors, we beat the accuracy of logistic regression with min max scaling. And then it goes a bit up for five and seven neighbors, and then it starts dropping if we look at too many. So that's another thing to keep in mind, that as opposed to logistic regression, k nearest neighbors might not want you to do any scaling of the data. It's usually better to leave the features as they are so that the distances make more sense because a logistic regressor doesn't care about distances, 
it benefits from this, but something that will care about distances between data instances uh, might not like such scaling to be done. <laughs>